Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nermodon, and I'll be doing a gameplay commentary over some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'll be playing with one of my really good friends, Nermodoff. I've known this guy for a very long time in real life and online, I guess, as well. But he's actually a very strong player in the kill death sense, and he's also very good at objective orientation. So that is always a benefit. I like to play with people that are either really good at, you know, holding their own in the kill death sense, or they're really strong at playing the objective, and he does both very well. And I always appreciate that. Sometimes I'm a little lazy and I'm feeling like, hey, my kill streak's a little bit more important. Man, I don't have to worry about it too much because he'll be taking the reins and he'll be taking the frontline assault onto the objectives. So that's always a pleasure. With that in mind, guys, I want to jump into the commentary and indulge you guys with some information. But I would also like you guys to participate, hopefully towards the end. But, you know, if you get time, you can definitely type it in the comments as we progress through the commentary, of course. Now, in this episode, I want to talk more nor less about TV shows that I am currently watching. You know, ones that I really enjoy, ones that I get gittery about. You know, the ones that when you hear that the next season's coming, you're like, oh man, I can't wait, this is going to be great, I'll invite some friends over, or maybe you watch it with your parents, I don't know, whatever you guys like to do. Maybe you watch it by yourself, that works fine too. But, you know, the one that you specially get that special popcorn for, that special drink, you know, your Doritos, whatever gaming snack you like, I don't know. But it's that one show or that few shows during the year where you just know that good stuff is about to happen for that particular day. And I want to talk about the shows that I enjoy because my shows may not be exactly similar to your guys's, but I'm sure some of you guys have heard about them. And maybe I'll open your eyes to a couple of new ones and you guys can check them out, of course. But I'd also like you guys to open my eyes up to maybe shows that I haven't seen. Because, you know, TV is very interesting by itself. It has its moments where, like, it has terrible shows on all year round. But there are some good ones that pop in there and save the day. So, to start off with, you can't forget about Walking Dead. The Walking Dead's kind of a big deal. I've heard people say they don't like it. Most of the time, that's females talking. So, that's fine. I'm not saying anything bad. If you don't like it, that's perfectly okay. But most of the people that said, like, they've never seen it, that I personally know are of the female descent so I guess that's uh, good enough for that but you know The Walking Dead's going on in season four and it's an amazing show I love zombies I'm a huge zombie fanatic I mean you know in a sense I guess I already have my plan outlined I guess if something were to happen but you know I'm not crazy I guess in that sense but it's a fun little joke you know I like to read books about it articles you know, diseases that even exist today are very interesting to me because you know in a sense they're kind of like a zombie disease kind of but anyway I'm not crazy in that sense I just really enjoy this show and I overall think it's a very creative thing to do and it seems to uphold a lot of people and I respect them for continually making episodes for it because there's really no end to it I mean you can make it for as long as you want and I'm hoping that when it does come to an end they won't make it stupid and uh, ruin the entire season like we've seen with some shows in the past but you know they seem to know what they're doing and I appreciate when they do kill people off because they do it in such a very good way. So, anyway guys, Walking Dead is probably one of my favorites. Um, you know, at times it can definitely be a little boring. Like, Season 2 was a little boring, or a lot, in my opinion. Season 3 definitely kicked it back up to the zombie standards of uh, beating some bitches up. But, overall, Season 2 is probably the worst for me. Another show that I recently got into when Christmas hit, because, you know, The Walking Dead does take its, like, half-season uh, termination, I guess you could say. You know, they take a good break. And I started to watch Revolution. Revolution is a show basically where the electricity goes out and everybody has to go back to the standards of doing things without electricity. If you guys think most of the things that we do on a daily basis revolve around electricity, if that's driving to work, driving to get some freaking fast food because it tastes so damn good, you know, even watching this video, for example, or doing anything that you probably find entertaining probably requires electricity in one way or another. And it's crazy to actually see a show that's so developed and so creative to do something like this. And I really enjoy it. It has a really good budget. It's not terrible. But people have said the acting's not great. I guess I don't really bitch about acting. I think they're doing a great job. Most of the actors I've never heard of. But there are some big timers in there. Um, unfortunately, I'm terrible with names. So I'm not going to try to even pronounce them and or try to explain it. But overall, I highly recommend that show. I think a lot of you guys will like it. And um, I really enjoy it beyond comparison. I think it's going to be hidden season two soon, and I am so pumped. You guys don't even know. So that's a great show, Revolution. Electricity turns off, and uh, they're trying to turn it back on, but there is a war going on and lots of action, and uh, it's just great. So a show that I recently just got into. I made a video about two weeks ago, and I kind of just talked about it, not really giving a whole lot of explanation to the concept of it. But 
that happens to be the show of Falling Skies. Falling Skies is on its third season. I actually just picked it up on Amazon Prime. They had the first two seasons free. I bought season, or first two seasons free, yeah, and I bought season three. And it only cost me like $9, so fuck yeah, I'm going to buy that. So with that in mind, guys, it's a really good show. It's about aliens. You know, they kind of come to Earth, they take it over, and pretty much little children, or children in general, are being harnessed by these, like, slug-looking things, and it's on the back of their neck, and they're like slaves. They do, like, activities and pick up, like, objects for the aliens, and they deliver it to the big ships and all that stuff. But there's a lot of action. It's really good storyline, and if you like that kind of sci- sci-fi kind of stuff, it's really good. You know, give it a try. If you don't exactly like the first couple of episodes in Season 1, it's probably not for you, but overall, Season 2 definitely hit up the uh, awesome scale, and Season 3 has been a really good pleasure as well because uh, they're starting to make a government, so that's always a benefit within that in mind. But overall, guys, I like it. It's kind of about aliens. They kind of take over. There's different kind of aliens. Some are robots. Some are a little bit more of a like creepy crawler-looking thing, and overall, the... Uh, main attraction of it just seems to be really good and I seem to really be enjoying that as it occupies my mindset as of any given moment and it's currently still going on in season three right now so that's a benefit at least it's still going on so the final show that I've actually been watching a lot of happens to be a show that every youtuber seems to just indulge himself into that every commentary is either centered around at every PKA for example if you guys are PKA fans just uh, Game of Thrones I've actually just started watching it, so when I make this, guys, you got to realize I'm not even close to where you guys are probably at. I actually am on Season 1, Episode 6. I watched the last six episodes last night, and it's crazy good. I honestly, when I heard these big YouTubers talking about it, I'm like, oh my god, promotion, blah, shut up, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's actually a really good show. Like, it's honestly about knights and castles, and I love that kind of stuff. I used to draw that kind of stuff when I was really young, like elementary and middle school. I used to just have a notebook filled with castles and shit in it, like met my imaginary scrims and all that kind of stuff. You know, just kind of doodling. And it's a really good show. It's a little bit more of an adult kind of show. I mean, it does have full images of the female part and male, I guess, in that sense. And there's a lot of sex scenes. So, of course, being a guy of my stature, I'm definitely going to watch that because it's uh, always a pleasure. But the main concept of it is, from what I can tell, I don't know exactly the seasons from the other ones, but it seems like there's been a little bit of turmoil in the... Um, parties that are around, you know, in the kingdoms and stuff like that. The main king's a little bit of a drunk in a sense, and they kind of talk about the historical background of the other kings that have occupied his seat. And that's all I really all I know. I can't really tell you guys about season two and three. I know nothing about it, but overall, I will keep you guys up to date if you guys are interested. I would love to talk more about it, but I'm just not far enough into the actual episode to be much of an effective tool for you guys. But anyway, guys, those are the shows I watch. I would love to know what you guys are watching right now. If you guys want to drop me a comment, please drop me a like. I would really appreciate that. Let's try to smash 15 likes on this video. And overall, guys, I look forward to reading your guys' responses. And this will be NMO, and I'll be signing off, guys. Peace.